Hello everyone. Okay, so this is gonna be a quick guide to how to install the Cleanlight ENB, how to adjust some of the settings like the lighting and you know the FPS cap, as well as how to fix the AR16's green dot scope. So let's get started. So first we're gonna want to go to the page, the Cleanlight ENB page. I'll have a link to this page in the description. Next, let's go down to the instructions. So it's installation, step number one, click on this link. Step number two, click on this thing over here. When you do, it's going to change it to this. And when it does, you're going to want to click on this thing over here. And so we're going to download this to the desktop. So this file that we're downloading has a thing on it, a file on it, that we're going to want. So here we go. It got downloaded to the desktop right here. It's a zip file, so we're going to want to unzip it. Uh, here we go. Extract all. I'm going to click that. Uh, yes, extract. And so yeah, it's over here now, the extracted folder. Click on that. Go to the wrapper version folder. And this is the file we want, d3d9.dll. We're gonna wanna copy that as it says on the instruction page here, extract d3d9.dll from the wrapper version folder. And then you're gonna wanna plop it in Far Cry 2's bin folder. So what this is asking you to do is go to the place where your Far, uh, your Far Cry 2 game is installed. So if you don't know where that is, what you can do is you just go to Steam. If you have Far Cry 2 on Steam, that is. You're going to want to right click this. You wanna, you're going to want to go to Properties. You're going to want to go to Local Files over here. And then you're going to want to hit Browse. And then now it's open back here for some reason. There you go. And here you go. Uh, so it said to go to the bin folder. So open that up. And then paste the d3.d9.dll file, paste. And there you go, it's right there. Okay, so that's step three, I believe. That's step two. Now we're on step three. So now you're gonna wanna download and extract the contents of the cleanlight.zip blah, blah, blah. So yeah, so for step three, you're gonna wanna go up here, go to files, hit manual download. So if you have a premium membership, of course you can just hit the fast download. If you don't, don't worry, you just hit slow download. And if you want, you can donate money to a uh, ping. I have no money, so I can't do that. Let's see. So yeah, we're going we're going to save the file, the in uh, the cleanlight.zip down to the desktop yet again. And so let's go to the desktop, and there it is, right here. So let us. So it's a zip file. So let us unzip it, extract all, extract, and it is over here now. And so as the instructions say, let's go to the instructions. So we downloaded it, we then extracted it. And then now we're gonna wanna save the file, uh, the contents of the file, of the folder, and put it in the bin, uh, the bin folder again. So let's do that. So here's the Cleanlight ENB folder extracted. We're gonna open it. We're gonna save all this, copy. Let us go to the bin folder again. I think I still have it open, there we go. And then yeah, hit paste. There you go. So yeah, let's open up Far Cry 2 now, huh? And see what this looks like. All right, so you know that it's installed when you see this new, these new lines of text in the upper, the upper left. So yeah, let's open up a save here, continue. All right, so we're in the game and the keen eye among you will notice that the game looks pretty much the same. Well, why is that? I have the NB installed. But the thing is, in my Far Cry 2 graphics settings, I do not have HDR enabled and I do not have Bloom enabled. So let's go and do that. Go to the pause menu, go to options, go to display, and down here in HDR Bloom, enable both of them. Make sure that uh, Direct X, yeah, make sure that Direct X9 is enabled as well, as that is recommended for this mod. Anyway, hit apply. As you can see, some stuff changed in the background, and voila, the game now looks different. So let's talk about adjusting some of the settings of this ENB. So you're gonna want to, in order to open up the ENB menu, you're gonna to want to hit the N key on your keyboard, like so. I need to do this. Also, uh, you're gonna to want to hit the tilde key as well. So, and the reason for this is because if you open up the ENB menu and you try to navigate it, your camera moves around and it's kind of annoying. So hit the tilde key and then you can now navigate to your heart's content. Uh, let's look at some of the stuff here. So, 
as you can see my fps seems to be capped at around 60 and that is because the emb actually caps your fps for you as you can see here uh enable fps limit hopefully you can see that it's a bit dark but yeah it's check marked so you can uncheck that if you want and hit save and i got some frames back keep in mind emb's do eat your frame so if you're running kind of a low end pc uh this emb might just completely kill your game <laughs> i don't know uh, you're, you're gonna have to check yourself so yeah okay now let's talk about the ar16 scope so the thing about this mod is that when you have the ar16 and you look down the scope the entire lens gets engulfed in this green light right so in order to stop that from happening you're going to want to disable two graphic settings within the nb so unfortunately you do lose out on some of the graphic options of the nb but you know if you want to use the ar16 and you want to use a scope then you're just gonna have to get rid of these two options so uh, let's open up the oh hang on i think i hear a car back up a bit make sure i'm crouched okay so set the tilde key let's hit open up the menu here so the two options you want to uh, turn off our lens and bloom so let's turn off lens first and er anytime you want to make a change to the ENB and make sure it's permanent make sure to hit save configuration so now let's look, look down the scope and as you can see a lot of that green is gone that green light but it's still a little bit chunky the dot so in order to get the, rid of the last of that you're going to want to disable bloom so under enable bloom you're going to want to uncheck that hit save configuration and voila there you go all right so let's talk about changing the actual lighting colors of this enb as i mentioned in the mod montage i did of this in the description uh nights are pretty dang dark so uh if you don't like that what you can do is open up your enb go to enb effect.fx click on that and a bunch of options will drop down when you do like so and so depending on the time of day you want to adjust you want to go down here if you want to adjust uh, sunset time, you're going to want to go to this uh, the sunset time line here and then adjust the settings underneath it. And for nighttime, which is what we're going to change now, you want to go to yeah nighttime here, the nighttime line, and then change these settings for lighting and these settings down here for color. So let's start with uh, lighting. Uh, so yeah, you got a couple of things you can change here. Uh, gamma, brightness, contrast, saturation, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're gonna just do gamma just to keep this simple so here you have a number value in gamma night right one dot two so you can uh change this by either clicking on this and typing in a number value i think five is the highest it will go yeah now it's completely dark or i can type in one and now it's brighter um you can also click the plus or minus buttons here in the right corner for much more fine-tuned adjustments like this, right? So as I'm clicking this, I'm minusing it off. It's getting brighter and brighter, right? Now, next to the plus and minus buttons on the right is this dot. What you do is you put the cursor on it, hold and click the left mouse button, and then now you see the circle come up, and then now you see this line come out as I drag my mouse around with the left button held, and then I can now adjust it like this. And this is what I like to do. This is how I like to adjust it. So yeah, there you go. So now, as you can see, it's much brighter. And if you want to keep it that way, don't forget to hit the save configuration option up here in the upper left corner. Uh, if you want to adjust color, uh, let's say, okay, so it's nighttime, right? So we're going to nighttime setting. We're going to go down to here to these options. So under here, CC, you want to go to the CC stuff here if you want to adjust uh, colors, if you want to add like bit more red or green so let's say we you want it to be a bit more i don't know a blue so we go to blue here and we minus off like this and we do the same thing for the other options as well i'm not going for anything specific i'm just changing around just to you know mess around it with it like this you know pretty fun uh you can also desaturate it oh oh there you go so there you go, yeah, those are some of the ways you can adjust these settings. So if you want to get rid of, like, let's say the letterboxing, here's another thing you can do. You can go to the effect.txt here. And so you click that, all these options drop down, and you want to click letterbox here. And it gets rid of the letterboxing. Don't forget to hit save configuration after you're done. There you go. 
So yeah, those are some of the basic things you can adjust. And yeah, so you can go into the NB menu, mess with that. There you go. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you have any more questions about the NBs and stuff like that, honestly, I'm not really an expert. I'm really just a casual uh, fan of messing around with these things. So you can ask questions about it, but I cannot guarantee it. I will have an answer for you. So yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, anyway, see you next time, folks. Bye.